night. You tell everybody. You tell everybody what you think of Periscope. Is that right? Oh, private moment. Okay. Hello, Miss Maddie. What do you think? Oh, really? Are you sulking because he had to go first? Are you sulking because he tried first? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that right, Scoop? What? <coughs> really? <coughs> really? How about that? <gasps> oh, what's that? Is that the neighbours? What did we find out? <coughs> oh! <laughs> <coughs> really? How about that? You done? You're done. Oh. What about you, Miss Maddie? You done? Oh. <laughs> this is what I listen to all day. This is why it's so hard to film because every time I switch on a camera or I start talking, Scooby thinks I'm talking to him. And then this happens because they get overexcited. Oh, and now, and they're gone. I thought I would have a quick play with Periscope as a vlogging tool, like a live vlogging tool. Basically, I have seen Periscope about and I thought, you know what? There's got to be a better way of using it than just repeating what I do on YouTube. Um, so I'm trying to find different ways of using it that I can show you a bit more in the moment and interactively what I'm doing without making it into a big thing. So at the moment I thought, well, since I'm such a crap vlogger <laughs> and I tend to get to like nine o'clock at night before I remember, oh, I haven't vlogged today. Perhaps Periscope is a good way of doing my vlogging because I can do it any time. Uh, my my audience is worldwide, so there's always somebody somewhere who may want to tune in. So that gives me a bit more access to different people around the globe on a more immediate level. So I say so a lot. I edit that out in my videos. <laughs> um, yeah, I quite like vlogging and doing live shows. So I thought if I vlog live, I can get my videos, I think, at the end of the week. Sorry if I'm making you seasick moving my camera around. I'm trying to hold it still. Um, I can get my videos at the end of the week and put them all together as a weekly vlog for those who only have YouTube. Uh, and the, those of you who are on Twitter and Periscope can come and say hi and ask questions like in the moment if you want to. I thought that might be quite cool. The kids have calmed down again. Scooby's had his say for now, I think. Are you done, Scoob? If you missed my first take of this, because um, I had problems, I had problems with my camera. I'm using my Samsung because my Sony is on charge at the moment. And every time I flip the camera from front back to front, it freezes the app and the app crashes. So I don't know if that's probably a memory issue with my Samsung because I have that with a lot of things. Um, but that's OK. I think we can deal with the... the quick zoom if I do it fast nobody will you know if you blink you'll miss it so it won't be a problem I'm just going to get the dust off my camera lens hold that thought there you go that's better um yeah hopefully my sony will be able to cope with it a bit better because my sony's a much newer machine it's got a much better memory and it's got a much faster processor so I think that will be okay with it 
But um, in the meantime, let's have a play with this and see how we get on. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this week that I've been sorting out my flat. Finally, getting my new digs sorted out. I've had so much work to do. Um, I've got people emailing me to ask about classes and stuff and saying, oh, uh, you, you've put two classes up late this week. Is everything OK? And it's really sweet that you're emailing me and asking me if everything's all right. Um, I did have some personal things happening last week, which put me behind a little bit. And then I had a massive tech issue because everything crashed. Um, but yes, everything's fine. Uh, I'm just a little bit behind with a couple of things. That's all. Uh, by Monday, I should be caught up with everything. And then I'll be able to get ahead next week. So don't panic. Everything's fine. Just got some other stuff that I need to sort out. Plus, having moved twice in two months. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I, I had literally, like within hours, I had finished unpacking at Lisa's. And three hours later, she came home and said somebody accepted an offer on the house. Uh, or somebody had put in an offer in the house and she'd accepted and I had to start looking for a new place and packing up again. Which is just my luck, really. But the new flat is looking good. This is not a rerun of earlier. This is the puppies going mental one more time for the day. This is because they need to go out. Which is what we're going to do as soon as I'm done here. We're going to head to the park. Okay, I'm on my, ooh, bad light. I'm on my Sony Z this time. Uh, my Samsung. Hey, hey, hey! Oh my God, craziness. My Samsung simply couldn't cope with Periscope. So um, it seems that my Sony Z is A, doing better, and B is um, coping better with the light, and C, fingers crossed, is a better um, uh, picture than earlier, I hope. So a big greeting to everybody watching live and all those who are maybe going to watch later or who watch this on YouTube because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my, I found out how to get my, um, how do you get hearts to fly? I think you tap the screen. I don't know. I'm new to this. Maybe somebody can help you out in chat. I think you just tap the screen and it, it gives hearts. We love hearts. The hearts are cool. I think they change colours, do they? Or are different people... Different people are different colours. So if your icon is green, the green is your hearts. I don't know. I'm new to this. I've only started doing it today. I was playing with Periscope um, all... Um, not playing with it but I, I was looking at it last week and I couldn't really see a use for it I was like yeah but it's just live streaming it's just like snapchat it's just vine but longer I have figured out how to get my downloads uh, even if they don't record I have got them set to download to my gallery so after I've finished recording this it should save to my gallery as long as it doesn't cut out on me like it did last time uh, and then I can put all my clips together into a YouTube video and maybe I'll upload it on a Sunday as a weekly vlog or something just for those people who don't have Periscope because not everybody has Periscope. So those of you who are following on Periscope, all four of you at the moment, hello. <laughs> uh, you can see live vlogs as they happen if you want to join and uh, those who are in a different time zone or you know perhaps at work when I vlog or whatever you can see the vlogs at the end of the week on a Sunday as a cumulative vlog of all the little bits I've done uh, which means I will vlog more hopefully because I'll suddenly remember and it's okay to do a periscope for 10 minutes at nine o'clock at night whereas getting the camera out doing the vlogging finding you don't have a battery uh, it's like Oh, I can't be bothered with that. I'll vlog tomorrow. <laughs> this is why I don't get to vlog. Whereas my phone is always charged. One or Either my phone or my iPod is always charged. I quite like this way of vlogging. It's very immediate. And I like that, it, you know, if you saw something, you could ask me questions or whatever. Uh, I think it could work for me as a vlogging tool. The broadcasting thing is a bit of a downer. It doesn't seem to like 
broadcasting to the back of the house so I may have to whoops I may have to get a um, what do you call it Wi-Fi bouncer thing I don't know Martin will know what I'm talking about when I say you know Wi-Fi bouncer thing and he'll go oh yeah I have. and he'll probably have a part number off Amazon or something what else oh oh don't cover the camera when you swap see this is the problem of being a lefty I cover the camera when I swap angles uh, guys guys and dolls uh, it's Thursday so is it pizza and scary movie night pizza and scary movie night Maddie Scooby's looking interested Miss Maddie it's pizza and scary movie night with Miss Maddie yeah it is is your pizza ordered? Oh, oh goodness me. <laughs> is your pizza ordered, Miss Maddie? Yeah, and Scooby-Doo's pizza is ordered. Yeah, your mozzarella sticks are on order, Scoob. Don't worry. <laughs> you, are, you want your mo mozzarella cheesy sticks. Okay, you can have cheesy sticks. I don't feed my dogs pineapple. Uh, pizza, literally. Um, we're having a small pizza and I give them a little bit of the crust. Uh and they have a bit of the pepperoni. And now they're going to be crazy. To wrap up, yes, this seems to be working. I quite like popping on here when I feel like it. Uh, it feels quite nice to just interact with a few of you, rather than being overwhelmed with a live audience. I mean, when I used to do my Ustreams, there used to be like 100 people in, and it was a bit... But just, you know, half a dozen of you at the time is perfectly fine with me. I may even get to answer a few questions, you never know. Hopefully I'm not covering the uh, microphone or anything like that. I guess I'll find out when I go back and re-record and <laughs> download it off the computer. Uh, this camera seems to be coping with it quite well, although not so much in low light. Maybe if I turn around that. Oh, there you go. Better in this light. The sound's fine. Oh, that's good. Because I don't actually know where the microphone is on this phone. <laughs> so there's a very good chance I have my, my finger on it. Um... Yeah, it performs well in low light, even on the front-facing camera. And uh, it doesn't drop the Wi-Fi because I've got data plan on here. So I've set it to Wi-Fi and data. So it just flips backwards and forwards when the signal drops. Anyway, I got some happy mail. Mrs. Brimbles. Anna Brim from Mrs. Brimbles. Uh, sent me a little package this morning. And look, it's got October stuff on it. It's got a... I think that's a little pumpkin cupcake. Isn't he cute? And inside she sent me a card, which I took out, but I didn't I didn't read it. I just took it out of the envelope so I wouldn't have to mess about with it on camera. Uh, it's from Furthermore Air Press on Etsy. It's a big squiggly A for Anna. Hope you're settling in nicely to your new place, Anna and the Fluffies. Isn't that sweet? Thank you so much, Anna. That's really nice. I like that. I'll put that on my wall. I've got a little housewarming gift here as well, which I'm going to guess is Halloween themed. Judging by the sticker. Yep, Beetlejuice tape. <laughs> Beetlejuice washi tape. That's cool. <laughs> now, is this one white or is it clear? Because some of them are clear and some of them are white. Let's see, is it white or is it clear? Because sometimes they're white and sometimes they're clear. And I've already got the clear one. Oh, this is actually white. Excellent. Yeah, this is actually white. Awesome. I've got some little stickers here. These are cute. I've got some like these, but they're not the same designs. Oh, these are sweet. I like these because they're transparent. You can put them over stuff in your planner or your diary instead of using highlighters, which means when I travel, I don't need to take my highlighters. I can just pop these in the back of my journal and take these with me. However, that said, <coughs> excuse me, 
uh, Tracy came down on Tuesday and she brought me these. They didn't come with washi tape on, I just did that. So I've got some washi tape to throw in my bag. These are little travel highlighters, aren't they cute? And they're so adorable. They're smaller than my Samsung. So they're about the size of an iPhone. And they're just little chisel tip baby markers, highlighters. And they're very good colours as well. The green is dried out, unfortunately, but the other colours are really bright, like neon bright. So that's really cute, isn't it? And it turns into a little holder that you can put on your desk. That nice. Or you could put a little bit of string through that and hang it around your neck if you wanted to, if you were outdoors. And just need to have a little drink of water for a moment. We're drinking Volvic Touch of Fruit Cherry Flavour today. I love this stuff. I love all of them except the lemon and lime one. The lemon and lime one is a bit... I always find anything with lime in it makes you more thirsty afterwards. <clears throat> oh, lots of people. Hi. Uh, no fuss acting. Hello. Melinda. Toby and Patty is back. Hi, Patty. Patty's my stalker. She's everywhere. <laughs> they are fun little highlighters, aren't they? They're so cute. They're just so handy. And they've, because they're flat, I mean, look how tiny they are. You could slip these into, like, the back of your Midori. If you've got a, a standard Midori, you could slip them into the wallet. Or if they're field notes, I bet they're about the same size as a field notes one. Yeah, they're smaller than field notes, so you could actually pop it inside your field notes, put your elastic round, and take them with you inside your field notes, which is even more compact and cool. Tracy gave me these. Did I say that? Yeah, I think I did. Back to my cute stickers from Anna. I'm all over the place today. I haven't had a, a second coffee. Mrs Brimbles, hi! Look, I'm just opening your... Your lovely gift. I've already shown them my Beetlejuice tape. <laughs> I love these. These are really sweet. These are really lovely. I use these ones for just highlighting stuff, but these are really cute. You could write. Usually you can write on these with a Sharpie as long as you let it dry. These are so cute. And I'm not just saying that because she's here now. I was saying this before. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't sat here going, oh God, just send me some crap, look. <laughs> Ooh, Halloween bits. Literally, they're called bits, look. Full moon. Die cut cardstock shapes. By American Crafts. Acid free, archival, blah, blah, blah. Permanent ink. Ooh. Look at those, aren't they cute? No, let me, oh. Yeah, the tripod's a bit precarious because I keep forgetting that my arm's touching it. Let me see. Now, my delay doesn't let me see if you can see this. So I'm gonna hold it there and hope you can see it. That's what's in it. So it's got a moon, it's got trees, it's got, uh, it looks like dragon eggs, but I'm going to assume it's pumpkin patch. <laughs> Ironwork gates. I've got labels. One says poison. Uh, boo. And something costume. Best costume. Uh, trick or treat banner. Halloween banner. Happy Halloween banner couple of bags one has specimen and one has number 13 i assume they're supposed to be like candy bags uh october 31st percival's poisons and botanics <laughs> established 1894 i think it says mclaren broomstick repair company <laughs> potions book a couple of scary pumpkins some admission tickets, a little label, some keys, some bats, some stars, 
a little poison bottle and just a Halloween decoration. It looks like a wreath actually. Isn't that cute? And they're all die cut shapes. But they're not like really, really thick die cut shapes. They're like, usually die cuts are like really, really thick. These look like, um, if you're familiar with basic gray scrapbook paper, it's about that thickness. It's the thicker cardstock, but not uber thick. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Anna, that's so sweet of you. Inkwells, is that? Um, what else did I get today? So that was my present from Anna today. That was my housewarming gift. It's very sweet of you. Especially considering I've still got those teas I've been meaning to send you since, oh, March. <laughs> uh, yes, right. I'm going to change my hair again. Because, you know, I put my dreads back in and I really like my dreads. They're um, temporary, by the way. They're synthetic. Uh, because obviously I've got a pixie cut, so I didn't go from having a pixie cut to arse length dreads overnight. But I'm a bit bored with the black, so I'm going back to pink. I don't know how well this will pick up on camera, uh, but if you can see my, um, what's it called? Profile picture, my icon on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere where I've got the bright pink hair, this is the same color. So I'm gonna make some dreads out of this. It's synthetic hair, it's not real hair. Um, it looks nice, but I can already tell you it's not as good quality as my wigs. So I can't even run my fingers through it, which tells me that after one wear, it'll be knotted up anyway. So I'm not gonna lose anything by dreading it. Uh, got it off eBay, cause somebody will ask for about £4.50. And it's one of those uh, half heads of hair extensions. So it's kind of, um, let me get my scissors, hang on. Where are my scissors gone? Oh, I know, I put them in my collage case, I think. Did I? No. I may have actually put them away in my pen pot. Goodness me, whatever was I thinking? I must have tidied my desk yesterday. So this is what, oh, here we go. Try not to tangle them up too badly before I dread them. <laughs> come on, off you come. There we go. Uh, oh, I can show you without taking it out, that's good. So it's just a three line weft like this that's been zigzagged and then sewn onto a bit of stitching. So the idea is you put this around um, just above your ears or just below your ears uh, and you clip it in see like this this is this is the clips i use for my wigs i just sew them onto the edge of my wigs and i clip them in uh, because i've got short hair but i've got enough hair to clip so i'm going to unpick this very carefully unpick the stitching it is actually stitched rather well it's, it's a lot better than i thought it was going to be it's stitched a lot better than i thought it was going to be Hopefully it's stitched separately. So the weft is stitched. Yes, the weft is stitched itself. And it looks like it's a double weft. Uh, but then it's stitched separately onto the lace because the running line of the lace there is completely different to the weft stitching there. So I should be able to take that apart uh, I've actually got four of them, so I've got plenty to play with. Um, and I only need like about an inch wide for each dread. And because my hair is short on the top and then it's short, it, uh, sorry, it's longer on the top than on the sides and the back, um, I won't need as many dreads as I would normally for a full head because I only need to do the top and eventually the back when it grows out. I'm going to leave the sides. I like the shaved sides. So I need about an inch for each one, which will give me eight, maybe nine per dread, per thing. So four nines, four nines, 36. That's more than enough dreads. So I can make synthetic dreads in pink. And then I've just got to get the black out of my hair, which is easy. I do it without bleach. 
I don't use bleach. I don't know why people use bleach. There's hair colorant remover, okay? You don't ever, ever, ever need to bleach color out of your hair. There is hair colorant remover. <laughs> if I can get jet black dye out of my hair, then anybody can get anything out of their hair, I'm sure. Uh, and then I dye it blonde. I put a blonde toner, toning dye over the top because my hair's red, so it just takes the pink tones out that I'm left with. Uh, although this time I'm going pink, uh, so I probably won't need to do that. You watched my So Dory earlier and didn't know I had a poison one and now you match. Yes, I'll be able to use those bits and pieces in my, in my poison Dory. Uh, I'm not using my poison Dory yet. I haven't figured out what to use it for. I'm working on that. 